Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today let's have some fun with Cypress Retriability using Cypress version 12 and its queries. So usually we have data as a subject in Cypress chains. Think of elements, network requests, URL, data objects. In this case I have an empty object and a wrap it. So now it's the subject of a command chain. And from this subject, I can get this property n. And for example, if it exists, let's say set seven, then the assertion attached confirms that this property n be extracted is equal to seven. And the way Cypress works, especially with queries like its, it looks at the current subject, whatever value is inside of a current command. So the subject here is an object reference O, you know, it has property n. This step transforms with subject, it takes the previous object, grabs its property and value and yields it to the next command or assertion. This is pretty st standard. You think sci get gives you elements, um, sci first gives you the first element from that list and so on. Okay, what if the property has a different value? Well, notice it's blue, it keeps retrying. So when assertion fails, it's not seven, it goes back to the first, uh, to the beginning of the queries chain and it tries to see maybe the property has changed value. Okay, and it grabs the property again, passes it to assertion, it fails, goes back to say it's, grabs the new value and so on. And it repeats, repeats, repeats until four seconds pass. And in our case, the object is static. But if we change the value, for example, by periodically drawing a random number and setting it, then you will see how it will retry and retry and try. Look at the assertion. It actually prints different values. You can see how it iterates, iterates, iterates. And as soon as the random puts number seven, so it grabs its value and the assertion passes. We can increase the randomness just to see it operate for a longer period until it reaches seven. Okay, so an object, its property value, assertion. Okay, fine. Now let's have some fun. Instead of wrapping an object, we can wrap the function right here. Now our subject is a function. Okay, so I'll remove everything else. Well, that function doesn't have property n, so it retries, 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 and fails. But we don't want a property n from a function, right? We want to call the function to generate us a new number. So here's how you can invoke a method on an object, but it's not, we don't have an object. So invoke, in this case, should call something that every function in JavaScript has. And it's called function prototype call. So there is function prototype call and function prototype apply, depends how you wanna pass arguments. And usually those methods are used, for example, to invoke a method on an object, but apply it to something else, to another object. So in this case, we wanna invoke this call and it will yield whatever the function returns, right? And look at, look, 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 okay, nothing. Oh, I apologize, this is the function, okay? So here, notice how it retries, 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 keeps invoking call, 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 until it almost after four seconds, it fails. So our subject is a function, and we invoke with function by calling function that prototype call method that every function has. All right, so now you're thinking, if I can call a function, can it do something more than just generate a random number? Can I, for example, do side request, you know, some random digit or something, right? Unfortunately not, okay? Um, the error will show you why. Basically, invoke is a query. It cannot call any callbacks, like, you know, when you call it really is a callback that call other side commands. It has to be synchronous. Okay, just just bear with me. Okay, so instead of side request, why don't we try using fetch? 
Imagine we want to call API endpoint until it returns an expected result. How would we do that using built-in retries? Well, right here, we can wrap the fetch, right? The window fetch method. Okay, we're going to call the function. The first argument is null. This would be the value of this object reference inside the function if it used it. I already have localhost 4200 and here I have an endpoint called random digit. Now, let's, let's just see what happens right now. Okay, notice it keeps retrying and retrying and retrying and it says an object cannot be equal to just seven. So what is this object that it tells us? Okay, if I click on the failed assertion, notice it's a promise because fetch returns a promise. Okay, let's slow things down maybe just a little. So my little endpoint allows you to specify a delay, X delay, and let's say 500 milliseconds. Okay, so it's a little bit easier to see. You see all these different calls, right? In reality, let's say we use 3.5 seconds. Notice Psi invoke is almost perfect. If you return a promise from a method called Psi invoke, it actually waits for the promise. It just doesn't do promise that then because it's a synchronous thing. Okay, so our problem is that we cannot, you know, somehow use then on the value, right? We cannot even invoke then, okay? It's, it's all because Psi invoke is a query command and it's assumed to be synchronous, okay? Okay, so let's do something else. Somehow we have to take asynchronous or, or asynchronous calls like fetch and grab the value that they resolve synchronously. Now, I already written the code that does that. I'm going to hide it for now because it's too much for now. Okay. But here's what we will do. So we're trying to call this. We're trying, imagine if it's a fetch, you need to call JSON, right? Also a synchronous method that returns the promise. And then it's n from the object should equal seven. Okay. So right now, notice it keeps calling and calling because the JSON is not there because it's a promise. It's not, um, it doesn't give you the response object. Okay. So anytime you invoke an asynchronous function and you want to put it back into the chain of queries, I've written a query command that I called an sync, just like the band. And so we need to call it twice because invoke fetch is asynchronous and response json is asynchronous so let's see what happens now i'm going to save it okay and it's look at the values you see what change values until we got seven the call still continue basically what happens it fires a lot of calls as soon as possible right here right and some of them will return seven and it will stop but those calls still have to finish. That's why it shows so many more calls. Okay, so how did I do the nsync method or query command? Well, it's, it's a hack. So anytime you define a query, you return a function that needs to process the subject. And in our case, the subject will be, you know, in this case, a promise returned by the fetch. So we're saying if it's a promise, meaning if it's venable, then I'll call that subject that then I'm not going to return anything because it's impossible to return. So I invoke will refuse to do that. Queries have to do, have to be uh, synchronous, but I'm going to store a value that's resolved and I'm just going to return whatever value I have. Okay. Like right here. So if you call nsync multiple times, it pretty much returns whatever it has and stores a value if it's a promise. Yeah, it's a hack, but <laughs> I mean, it, in a way it works. And let's see, maybe we can increase the delay, right? So you can see it better and you can see different values, notice seven, right? And other calls still finish. So a lot of fun, you know, with functions that 
are retried by Cypress query chains. Is this useful? I don't know. I would say if you need to retry a bunch of Cypress commands, I would use my plugin Cypress recurs. But if all the functions that you have are synchronous, then you pretty much can wrap a function and invoke call method to fire it off and just deal with a subject. Find this example among the retryability examples. I'm going to link it uh, from my description of my video and it's on my Cypress example site.